There are numerous things you will choose at your university and college season of life. Things like your major, elective courses, whether you have class on Friday or not, where you live and so on. But what you cannot choose, particularly at a secular institution, is the worldview of your university and your professor's opinions about the culture wars of our day. But thank God we have his word, supremely authoritative and all sufficient to enlighten our minds where the culture simply calls us to be woke. Stay woke used to be merely an African-American slang that encouraged someone to be fully awake and aware to what was happening in the world. But now, in the wider public sphere and political arena, it speaks to an agenda of ungodly social justice, unbiblical inclusion, and a worldview contrary to the gospel of Jesus Christ. This agenda has reached the university classrooms and its proponents will seek to reach you. Here are some biblical truths that will encourage you to hold fast to Christ, maintain a biblical worldview, and stay rooted in the gospel. Number one, remember the authority and sufficiency of scripture. According to 2 Timothy chapter 3, verses 16 and 17, the God-breathed scriptures are profitable for teaching, for reproof, for correction, and for training in righteousness, that the man of God may be complete, meaning fully furnished, equipped for every good work, God's word is enough to think through the realities of the fallen world. Because you have God's word, Christian, you are equipped to think rightly about God's world. The trends, ideologies, and philosophies of the world are here today and gone tomorrow. But God's true word remains forever. Hold fast to the scriptures as your authority and let God's word be the filter through which you discern everything that is presented to you. A professor may have authority in the classroom, but never forget, Jesus has authority over heaven and earth, and he rules by his spirit through his word. Two, remember the truth of Genesis 127. Every professor and fellow student are made in the image of God. Even when they are not Christians and oppose the gospel, they know God exists. As Psalm 14:1, Psalm 19, one through seven, and Romans 1, 18, through 23 proclaims, but they suppress the truth of God's existence, his goodness, and live in rebellion to his word. This also means they actually can, with their God-given faculties as image bearers, make real observations about the world. But since they lack the fear of the Lord that is the beginning of knowledge and do not know Christ as Lord, they have a misguided diagnosis and prescribe the wrong cure for the problems of our world today. The greatest evil in our world is sin, overflowing from the human heart, the reality that we are image bearers of God, marred by the fall and sinners by nature and choice. Sin is the ultimate diagnosis for the evil in our world, and sin must be exposed, not affirmed. And the only cure for sin is the gospel of Jesus Christ, because the statement is trustworthy and deserving of full acceptance that Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners, as 1 Timothy chapter 1, verse 15 tells us. Three, remember the reality of Romans 3, 4. When you stand with Christ, you stand in the majority and stand with the truth. Romans 3, 4 reads, let God be true, though everyone were a liar. In other words, even if everyone is a liar and lying, God is true. Just because a lot of people think something to be true or worthy to affirm, defend, include, or celebrate, that does not make it right in the sight of God. There will be times where you are outnumbered in your classroom, but better to stand with Jesus than stand with the crowd. Be courageous and ready to give reason for the hope that is within you with gentleness and respect and be encouraged. Proverbs 12, 19 encourages you, truthful lips endure forever, but a lying tongue is but for a moment. And Proverbs 14, 12 says, there is a way that seems right to a man, but its end is the way of death. And Jesus encourages you when he preached, blessed are you when others revile you and persecute you and utter all kinds of evil against you falsely on my account. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward is great in heaven, for so they persecuted the prophets who were before you. Four, remember the call of Colossians 2.8. 
See to it that no one takes you captive by philosophy, empty deceit according to human tradition, according to elemental spirits of the world, and not according to Christ. The Lord Jesus Christ is all supreme. All things are made by him, through him, and for him. He is before all things, and in him all things hold together. To put it simply, only Jesus makes sense. And without Jesus, nothing makes sense. As you face worldly philosophies, empty deceit, and demonic teachings that contradict the scriptures, have the spirit emboldened confidence to destroy arguments and every lofty opinion raised against the knowledge of God and take every thought captive to obey Christ. Only Jesus can forgive and fulfill. Only Jesus brings true unity amidst diversity. Only Jesus is a transcendent unifier of all nations, ethnicities, and peoples. Only Jesus humbles all sinners before the cross. Only in Jesus can we know the eternally true, good, and beautiful. Only in Jesus do we find life and life more abundantly. Only Jesus can bring peace with God and one another. Anyone who claims to be woke, who doesn't claim Christ isn't woke enough. Ephesians 5.14 says, Awake, O sleeper, and arise from the dead, and Christ will shine on you. One day, you will graduate from college, but you will never graduate from the gospel. And wherever you are in the study of our Savior, you are not done yet. Pastor Francis Grimke once wrote, The one who finds Jesus Christ, who finds him truly, has found the solution to all his problems, both here and hereafter, in time and eternity. Christ is the answer, my friends. The secular universities of our nation actively oppose Christ and the biblical worldview. But if you hold on to the word of God, remember everyone is made in the image of God, have courage to stand with God and cling to Jesus, the son of God, you will not only endure, but advance God's kingdom in your college for years for the sake of the gospel.